Hey guys, this is our lesson for our first specific outcome and 101A place value. So let's start right away here. What do you know about place value? I want you to pause here and brainstorm. Write down everything that you know. What does this remind you of? What have you learned before? What is place value? What comes into your mind when I say this word place value? If you're in class, you can have a discussion as a group. And if you're at home, Pause this and write down everything that you know about place value. Okay. Now that you have that in your mind, I have a question. Can you count from zero to 100 forward by ones? Pause the video. Do it right now. Do it out loud. Great job. I have another question for you. Can you count up to 100? by fives. Pause the video, do it out loud. What about up to a thousand by 25s? Pause the video, do it. Could you do it? 25, 50, 75, 100. You could go back and try again. What about this question? Can you describe the number 10,000 using pictures, or symbols, and and you know a number is a symbol, hey. So let's put that in here. Let's have pictures, numbers, and symbols. There you go. Pause the video. Do that. Describe ten thousand. Good job. I hope. <laughs> what about a million? Can you describe a million using pictures, numbers? and symbols. Pause the video, take your time. It's pretty difficult, right? To describe a million, like it's a lot. Have you ever seen a million of anything? Pause the video, discuss, have you? I'm sure you thought of some cool ideas. Um, you want to see a million dots on a page? This is a million dots on a page. This is 100, this is 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. And, oh, I'm recording a background tab. Hmm, how do I get back to where I want to be? Ah, there we go. So. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900. That's 1,000. 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000. That's 10,000. Can you see how this is a little bit wider than this? That's 10,000 dots on a page. And this is 1 million. It's 1,000 thousands. Pretty cool. So I hope you're starting to get the idea that a million is a lot. So our specific learning goal, our outcome, is to demonstrate an understanding of place value, including numbers that are greater than one million. So Large numbers are organized into groups of three digits. These groups are called periods. Starting from the right, the name of the periods are the ones period, the thousands period, the millions period, billions, and trillions. After that, there's quadrillions and quintillions, and it keeps going. Okay, I'll get you to focus here. Focus in here, right? Every group of three digits is called a period. And it begins with the ones, then the thousands, millions, billions, trillions, so on and so on and so on. Why do we do this? Well, because it's really hard to imagine a million of something, let alone a billion. And we need some sort of a system where we can keep track of these big, big numbers. There are even larger periods, all the way up to numbers with 65 digits. Each period is divided into hundreds, tens, and ones. 
this pattern continues, continues. So no matter how many periods you add to the front of a number, a place value chart can help you understand this pattern. Okay, so this over here is a place value chart. You can see how this period, the ones, has three groups in it. It has the ones, the tens, and the hundreds. Then the thousands also has the ones, the tens, and the hundreds. The millions has the ones, the tens, and the hundreds. And the billions has the ones, and the tens, and the hundreds. And then the trillions has the ones, and the tens, and the hundreds. So can you read this number out loud? Pause the video and try. Great job. This is 451 trillion, 620 billion, 35 million, 1002, 457. It's pretty challenging. Okay. So this is an example of a problem that uses large numbers. Kendra made a chart showing the five countries with the greatest number of high-speed internet subscribers. Germany has 17,472,000. Japan has 27,152,349. Korea has 14,441,687. The United Kingdom has 14,361,816. And the United States has 66,213,257. Question is, how can you compare the number of high-speed internet subscribers? Pause this video now and either as a class have a discussion of how you could compare it, or on your own, write down some of the ways you can compare it. Welcome back. So that's an example of one of many problems that uses large numbers. Now is your chance to continue your learning. Um, you can continue on these slides from slides 26 to 69. There's a bunch of other problems, examples, videos, um, things. You can open up your math focus textbook and look at pages 32 to 52. There's a bunch of great questions there. You can do IXL skill in the A category. Those are all number questions. ST Math, you can also look at place value. Khan Academy has many great videos. And Solero has multiple choice PAT style questions. So that is it. I guess I just stopped there. <laughs> so your job is to continue learning. Please ask great questions. And uh, continue working to understand place value number in numbers greater than a million. Thank you.